Welcome to Vacating Your RHU Virtually, where we will give you all the information you need to prepare for your move out and ace it. The move out process has two main aspects, an administrative one and a technical one. Let's begin with the administrative aspect. As an occupant, you should first contact your HSC to receive a copy of the form notice to vacate. 30 day notice. This form must be delivered to CFHA no later than 30 days before your proposed move out date. CFHA will record your notice to vacate in the housing database. A forwarding address must be provided to CFHA before you move out in order for us to seize your rent. Please note, if you provide CFHA less than 30 days notice, you'll be charged for the entirety of 30 days. Here's an example of how it works. You're moving out on July 5th. If you provide your notice on June 1st, you'll be charged for the month of June and the five days in July, 35 days in total. If you provide your notice on June 15th, you'll be charged for the full months of June and July, 61 days, even if there's only 20 days left before you move out. The HSC will schedule your pre-move out and move out inspection dates and times when we receive your notice to vacate. The purpose of the pre-move out inspection is to identify items and areas that require attention or repairs due to non-fair wear and tear. For your protection, if the occupant on record cannot fulfill the appointment, we require a letter of authorization from whoever will be taking their place and signing off the keys to CFHA. Once we remove your notice to vacate, we give you a move out checklist called the D&D Residential Housing Unit Vacating Procedures. Please pay close attention to the occupant and HSC responsibilities. They vary from one HSC to the other. In general, if the HSC took care of something when you first arrived at your RHU months or years ago, then they will take care of it when you leave. But as a good practice, we recommend checking with your HSC when you submit your notice to vacate. In Petawawa, the HSC takes care of setting up and closing out your accounts for Hydro and Enbridge, which means the inspector will take the meter readings once your move out is successful. They will provide you a copy and give one to the HSC Finance Department, and a copy will also be placed in the RHU file. Keys must be returned to the HSC at move out along with any other copies you may have made. Please reach out to your HSC for details on how to deliver them. If mail is delivered to a community mailbox, then keys to the mailbox must be returned to Canada Post before you leave. You are responsible to have all personal mail redirected. Please call the local post office for more information or visit www.canadapost.ca. CFHA understands there's going to be wear and tear after a few years of living in an RHU, but there is a difference between fair and non-fair wear and tear. For example, small scratches on a hardwood floor are considered fair wear and tear, but big gouges caused by dragging a washing machine on the floor or stains left because stored tires indoors will not be considered fair wear and tear. Let's continue with the technical aspects of the pre-move out inspection. What happens during this appointment? When you came into your RHU for the first time, the inspector and you documented the condition of the RHU on the move-in checklist. This checklist will be referenced at pre-move out inspection to identify non-fair wear and tear. During the pre-move out inspection, an inspector will be present to go over any concerns and questions you may have to successfully move out. They will review with you the D&D Residential Housing Unit Vacating Procedures. The pre-move out inspection will be signed by all parties present and placed on file. The move out inspection is the final inspection of your RHU. During a move out, the inspector will note if there is anything needing repair and will compare the results with the notes taken during your move-in inspection. The onus is on the occupant to abide by the DND residential housing unit vacating procedures and to correct non-fair wear and tear identified on the pre-move out inspection. The occupant is responsible to cover the cost of repairs not corrected by the move out inspection day as calculated by the HSC. 
Now that the administrative and technical aspects are covered, let's look at what the CFHA inspector will expect at your move out. We've divided the cleaning up of your RHU into two parts, outside and inside. Outside your RHU, you should weed and rake flower beds, cut and trim the grass, remove pet waste, and clean all window wells by taking out any garbage or debris. Remove any sheds, fences, or playgrounds that don't belong to CFHA. Fill any holes left and restore grass to bare areas by sprinkling grass seeds or placing sod over it. If you move out in the winter, provide the HSC with the name, phone, and address of a designated person who will be responsible to finalize the exterior of the RHU in the spring as described in the occupant handbook. Remember, all personal belongings should be removed from the exterior either during move-out inspection or by your designated person in the spring. Ensure to remove all snow and ice of the sidewalks and the driveway, including clearing a path to the utility meters, gas and hydro. Remove and dispose of all garbage and hazardous waste. No garbage, waste or household items are to be left at the curb or on the property. Furniture in good condition could be donated to Goodwill organizations in your area. Contact your MFRC or your Padre for more information. Each base wing or municipality have their own rules concerning who owns the garbage, compost, and recycling bins. So please ask your HSC if you need a reminder. In Petawawa, the green bin, compost, the yellow containers, which are for recycling, and the blue, which are paper recycling, have to stay at the RHU. Empty all of your bins and rinse them with a hose. Leave the green bin in the backyard and place the recycling bins in the basement of the RHU. For apartments, place the recycling bins in the basement storage locker. Lastly, if you have a garage or CFHA shed, empty your belongings and sweep the floor. Remove any items that you installed in these structures, including anchors and hooks. Please replace any burnt or missing light bulbs. Now that we've covered cleaning up outside your RHU, let's look at what you need to do inside. First, wash all floors and stairs and vacuum all carpets if you have any, even in the basement. Steam clean carpets if required. Remove all wallpaper, nails, anchors, screws, frame hangers, blind fasteners, curtains, and tacks on the walls. Ensure the walls and doors are clear of all foreign matters and marks, including stickers, picture frames. Check with your local HSC if you need to prime or paint the walls or fill with plaster any hole before you leave. In Petawawa, if you painted a wall in a different color, especially if it's a dark color, Confirm at your pre-move-out inspection if you need to prime it. There is no need to do touch-ups for minor fair wear and tear, and you shouldn't be filling or plastering holes. Now, if you've removed a door, ask your HSC if you need to put it back, as it depends on the location of the door. For cleaning all windows and window sills inside and out, clean and repair or replace any damaged screens and reinstall storm windows during the heating season, October to April, if applicable. It is important to remove any partitions or finishing you installed in the basement. Clean the cold room and or basement shelves thoroughly, vacuum and dust the entire basement and remove all the cobwebs. Remember to give a little wipe down on the furnace and the hot water tank. Replace the furnace filters before you vacate and remember to vacuum the surface of all registers and air returns. Clean and disinfect all sinks, tubs, toilets, including laundry tubs and the kitchen sink. Remove all residue from ceramic tiles, grout, soap dishes, and medicine cabinets. Clean the bathroom exhaust fan, and to do so, vacuum the cover and wipe out the dust. Shine all chrome and glass, including mirrors. Clean all D&D owned appliances, including the range hood and its filters. Remember to clean the grease built up underneath the range hood. In Petawawa, only the barrier free and accessible RHUs come with appliances. The cleaning of these appliances is much more thorough. 
please discuss with the inspector upon the pre-move out inspection. And for all cupboards and closets, remove all residue from all the surfaces, vacuum thoroughly. Also remove all the liners from the kitchen cabinets and the drawers. Clean and disinfect all countertops and remove stains. And last but not least, you must replace any burnt or missing light bulbs in the RHU. We've been asked many times in the past if we recommend a cleaning service. CFHA cannot provide or endorse a list of people or companies to do move out cleaning. CFHA doesn't guarantee an inspection pass whether occupants choose to clean the RHUs themselves or hire a cleaning service. For more information on the requirements for cleaning your RHUs before you move out, the Occupant Handbook contains a section on the move out process and its requirements. It's available on canada.ca slash military dash housing. CFHA has now scheduled to update the Occupant Handbook every year in April. This video was pre-recorded in February of 2022. It is representative of our current processes. CFHA is always looking to improve its business process. A new video will be released next year to reflect any changes to this recording. We wish to thank you for your time and to remind you to contact your local HSC if you have any questions.